Hello, I'm Sir Classy, and welcome to another tutorial. And on this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your vocals pop in a mix using a special plugin from Slate Digital. It's called the Virtual Mix Rack. Yes, this plugin. Now, I've used this plugin to add some shine and warmth to my mix that I just can't get from any other plugin. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so this is a rack. What they simply mean is you have access to different units. Usually these are models of existing hardware units, mostly compressors, exciters, saturators, um, equalizers. You can do a whole lot with each of them. But to make my vocals pop, what I typically use is a preset. I use the Airy Vocals presets. Sometimes I use Airy Vocals 2 or Airy Vocals, but most times I also use um, the Airy Vocals. Then when I click the Airy Vocals, this is how it comes. You see an EQ, a compressor, and an exciter. Now with this EQ, just like what any other EQ does, it helps shape the frequency. But since it's a model of an existing hardware unit, it also adds a little bit of warmth and character to your mix, especially for vocals. Same with the compressor. The compressor also adds a little bit of warmth to your mix. Then this is where the magic really is, because sometimes I take out this and this from the unit. Sometimes I don't need the EQ and the compressor. Sometimes I stick to just the revival. So with revival, I can take off the thickness of the vocal so it's not sound too thin. And I can increase the brightness by playing with the shimmer here. So let's listen to some um, before and after with this vocal. So I'll turn off the effects and then listen to it. You listen to the vocals without it and play it with the effects. Alright, so that is how the vocal sounds. It sounds okay because my um, processes before then was fine. My EQ, my compressor settings were fine. So the vocal is okay, but it doesn't really cut through the mix that much. So let me turn the effect on now. That is the plugin, the mix rack, a virtual mix rack plugin from Slate Digital. I'll turn it on, then you listen to a difference. Do you match my face? You say that you need some space. It feels like I fell from grace. Oh, no. I brag about you every day. I do everything that you say. What do I need to call a family? I can't emotion. Ah. Yes, so you can see how instantly it adds that shine and that brightness to the vocals. Sometimes you want to be careful that not make your vocals too um, bright or too sharp. So you can play with the EQ here. Most this is the high frequency spectrum because you can see um, this is you can dial up the frequency knob here where you want to attenuate. Let's say you want to attenuate um, or cut around let's say three kilohertz, then you can cut. So that it's vocals not be too sharp. Let's let me increase the thickness all the way up so you hear what the thickness actually does. You say that you need some space. It feels like I fell from grace. Oh no. I brag about you every day. I do everything that you say. What do I need to call a family? I can emotion. You can see that it made the vocals fatter. So let me take down, let me take away the thickness completely and listen to how it sounds. I brag about you every day. I do everything that you say. What do I need to call a family? I can And if you listen again, you see that now it sounds thinner. It doesn't sound as fat as it used to be. So why I don't, I don't want to make it to be too fat or too thin. So somewhere around here is enough. Somewhere around here is enough. Then the shimmer, you can increase the shine, how bright you want it. Let's take it all the way up and see how this is somewhere around here and see how it sounds. If you like, carry everything for your 
your shoulder Got me look to you, match my face You say that you need some space It feels like I fell from grace Oh no you can see how bright it now became and um, how it started um uh, making the s that is the um s is brighter and sharper which is even making um the the listening experience irritating to the ear so we don't want it to be too bright and i think that we don't want it to be too dull so let me take it all the way down and see how it sounds it feels like I fell from grace, oh no I brag about you every day, I do it Now you can see how it sounds, so the optimal setting is just to leave um, Most times I stick with the default setting, then I can just maybe play with the high cut a little to take out some harshness So somewhere around here is fine for the, um, for the brightness, that is the shimmer So let's listen again and see how it sounds now so much my face you say that you need some space It feels like I fell from grace Oh no I brag about you every day I do everything that you say What do I need to call a family I can't even Ah If you like Carry everything for your shoulder Alright So that's pretty much how To get um The effects processing done On um using um, virtual mix track plugin typically i added i use it before um put, putting my reverb on the mix i like having my dynamics before my, i like my reverb to be one of the final things i get to do so, but sometimes i may add some little bit of extra saturation after my reverb but that's just preference it's not really a rule of thumb it's just preference but this is how to easily use virtual mix tracks an amazing um plugin from um slate digital i use it a lot on my mix I use it a whole lot on my mix. So here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials every day. I have free packs and loops in the description below that can help your production game level up. And I also have courses on Udemy. Very nice courses, comprehensive start to finish on mixing, mastering, beat making, music theory. I have it all on my Udemy page. Hit the link below in the description and you see all the links. They're all safe and secured links. So hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next tutorial. I remain so classy. Cheers.